at an Apollo Theater dinner hosted by the Rockefeller Foundation last June. Justice Sandra Day O'Connor and Wynton Marsalis began an unexpected, spontaneous dialogue about the deep and abiding connections between jazz and democracy. My husband and I sat on either side of them, awestruck and amazed. And so this evening's program was conceived to capture that lightning in a bottle. This extraordinary event is a tribute to the magic of serendipity. What can happen when you bring together people with diverse viewpoints and voices, diverse perspectives and personalities. It's actually a chemistry experiment gone right. And it's a touchstone of what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. meant when he said we are all tied together in an inescapable web of mutuality. But it is also about so much more. Tonight's program is a call for innovation to solve the 21st century's defining challenges in healthcare and infrastructure, energy and education, the environment and the economy, areas in which the Rockefeller Foundation is proud to lead the search for cutting edge solutions. Creative expression is central to this mission, which is why we support Wynton Marsalis' inspired genius. Someone asked at one time, Albert Einstein, how he came up with the theory of relativity. He said, it occurred to me by intuition, and music was the driving force behind that intuition. My discovery, he continued, was the result of musical perception. So this evening, we celebrate the essential function of right brain ingenuity in left brain problem solving. We celebrate the bedrock conviction that artistic and social advances go hand in hand. Almost 50 years ago, at another hour of trial and change, Americans inaugurated an eloquent, brilliant young senator as president. Sound familiar? John F. Kennedy always spoke movingly about the importance of the humanities. He once remarked, quote, there is a connection hard to explain logically, but easy to feel between achievement in public life and progress in the arts. The age of Pericles was also the age of Phidias. The age of Lorenzo de' Medici, also the age of Leonardo da Vinci. The age of Elizabeth, also the age of Shakespeare. Our age, too, is marked by transition, and transition often brings turbulence. But forces of transition also fuel creativity and improvisation, the qualities that enable us collectively to imagine and to build a better tomorrow. Now we give you a celebration of America, orchestrated by the incomparable Wynton Marsalis and Jazz at Lincoln Center. We hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.